As traders, we're constantly reviewing and evaluating the profitability of the options that we trade. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you a simple example where I was faced with the decision of having to sell an option with a one-week expiration that was paying very little premium. Should I do it, or is there a more profitable alternative? As you may have seen from my videos on my channel, I'm involved with selling options as a way to generate an income from premium payments that I collect. Now, one of my objectives in selling options is to trade every option so that I'm able to collect 1% or more in premium for every week that the option contract is open. In other words, if I have a two-week option contract, I try to collect 2% in premium, a three-week option contract, 3%, a one-month, 4%, and so on. Here are the details for the option trade I'm considering. I want to sell a covered call for some stock that I own for Lemonade Incorporated, stock symbol LMND. Now my cost basis for these shares, I own 100 shares at $68 per share. Now the reason I want to sell this covered call is I'm thinking I'm, there's some better opportunities out there. I'm getting a little bit tired of owning this stock and uh, I think my money could be better used someplace else. So if I could sell these shares through a covered call, that'd be great. Uh, I don't mind selling them, but if I end up keeping them, let's say the option contract expires worthless, that's fine. I'll just go ahead and repeat the same process and and try to sell another covered call again. Uh, but my plan really is to sell at or near the money. So if I can get uh, maybe $68 strike price or maybe $68.50 or $69, that would be the best. Uh, that way it's priced to go. And I'm looking at a one-week option contract. I went ahead and activated my Picking Stocks for Options Analyzer, PS4O Analyzer. And I'm on the Covered Call Analyzer tab because I wanted to look at the numbers involved with selling a covered call for stock symbol LMND, so my Lemonade Incorporated. So it's currently trading at $62.35. And I was looking at going one week out, uh, so November 5th, and selling a covered call with a $69 strike price which at the current time is paying 55 cents per share. Uh, my cost basis is $68, so I would get $1 per share in price appreciation. Um, but what I noticed though, is that the, the amount I receive in premium, the $55 or 55 cents per share, is just under 1% for this one week option contract. And so really what I like to do is aim for something closer to 1%. Um, so what I'm going to do then is take a look at if I go ahead and push this out. Um, I'm going to set up the second column here. So I do a quick comparison. And if I also do the $69 strike price and set this up, let's say I go one week farther out. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go, because it's one week further out, uh, I'm going to see if I can get one extra dollar in price appreciation. And so if I look at the option chain, I see that it's paying $2.10 uh, per share. And then my cost basis, again, is $68. And so now, now I have a better way of doing a comparison between the two. So in this column here, I'm looking at selling the covered call one week out with a $69 strike price. Uh, but it only pays 0.81% in premium for that one week. So what I did was I, I entered the same stock, but for a different trade. So this is going to be for two weeks out. So it's 14 days out because I picked a November 12th expiration date. I also added $1 more in um, the strike price. So I can capture some more, if possible, if this option gets exercised, I'll capture a dollar extra per share in price appreciation. And with most the better thing though, that the whole reason behind this was that I could get $2.10 in premium. And if we check, we can see that the $2.10 in premium, well, this, when this option contract gets filled, I'll get $210 as the premium payment. And that equates to just over 3% as a profit from the, the premium amount based off of my cost basis. So. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can execute uh, selling this covered call for, for Lemonade two weeks out. So not one week, but two weeks. 
And if you break that down to a weekly basis, though, it's still be getting 1.5% uh, per week. So this, so this falls within my criteria of trying to get 1% or more in premium for this one-week contract. If you want to learn more about my PS4O Analyzer tool and see it in action, be sure to register for my Picking Stocks for Options live training session that I'll be holding in November. In this live trading session, I'm going to share with you my three-step process that I use for picking stocks for options. I'll also be showing you the resources that I rely upon that help me make these decisions. This includes all the websites and all the tools that I use, including the one here, my PS4O Analyzer tool that I use for both covered calls and cast secure puts. And because it is live, you'll have a front seat as you watch me use these tools and see the exact buttons I push and the information that I get in making my decisions. I'm finalizing this training curriculum now, and this is going to be two hours of live training, and it may actually go longer if there's enough interest. Because this is a longer training session, I realize that some of you may not be able to stay for the entire time, and that's okay. Or maybe you won't be able to attend at all because of other commitments, and that's okay too. Or maybe it's a difference in the time zones, or you'll only be able to join late, or whatever. That's okay. I've got you covered because I'll be recording everything. And after this training session, you can purchase an all access bundle that includes full video recordings so that you can watch at your convenience, the downloadable audio podcast so that if you want, you can listen to this entire course privately while you're engaged in some other activities. And I'm also going to throw in my PDF version of my slides so that you could print, read, make notes or whatever you want. Plus, as a free bonus, I'm also going to include all of my worksheets, including the Picking Stocks for Options Analyzer. So be sure to register to receive the details of this upcoming training and also receive the special link so that you can access. Just visit my website, simpleoptiontrading.com slash picking stocks for options. If you like the information about my stock picks, then consider joining my Patreon, where I share exclusive videos of my stock picks every week that I'm going to be using for profitable trades. I also include my research notes, stock analysis, and trading strategies for every stock I pick to watch for that week. And of course, all my videos posted on my Patreon are ad-free. There's one last thing before I end this video. Now, making profits and generating an income from option trading is a great thing, but keep in mind that all gains made from trading are considered income and are subject to applicable tax considerations. So every month, I save a portion of the profits that I earned in order to pay for my federal and state taxes. So please consult with your CPA, licensed financial advisor, and or tax preparer regarding the tax liabilities for your unique situation. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.